Hi everyone, my name is Titi J. Kepsi Richie and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today our discussion on partial differential equation will be on classification of second order partial differential equations. Before the video will end today, we will learn what second order partial differential equations are and the forms they take. We will learn how second order partial differential equations are classified, what we use to classify them and we we'll saw some examples on classification of second order partial differential equations. This will be a very interesting discussion. So I indulge you to watch the video to the end. So we we'll start things off by looking at what second order partial differential equations are and the forms they take. So we say second order partial differential equations are differential equations in which the highest ordered partial derivative is of order two. Is of order two. So we learn how to classify partial differential equations according to order. When we look at the order in the partial differential equation and it is the highest order is 2, then we say that partial differential equation is of order 2. So they take this form. That is the partial differential of u with respect to x twice and the, with a coefficient of a, the partial differential of u with respect to x then with respect to y with a coefficient of b plus the partial differential of u with respect to y twice with a coefficient of c plus d the partial differential of u with respect to s thus the coefficient of partial differential of u with respect to s is d then the partial differential of u with respect to y with a coefficient of e in that order in that order you know we can rewrite these things as this they are the same they are the same the coefficient here is b is b so they are the same so take note of it this is the same as that. Now, we learn something uh, in our series, one of our videos, which is Yang's theorem. If you have not watched that video, please go to YouTube, search for the TJ Kepsi in Richie, and watch that video. We learn Young's theory. And Young's theory is telling us that if we have a partial differential of u with respect to s then with respect to y, it will be the same as the partial differential of u with respect to y, then with respect to s. So check this, they are the same. Anytime you meet it, they are the same. From Young's theory, we are aware of that. Now the next thing we look at is what we use to classify partial differential equations. The second order partial differential equations, actually. Then, the, uh, how do we classify partial differential equations? That's the next thing we look at. So we start things off on how we classify second order partial differential equations. So second order partial differential equations can be classified as being hyperbolic, elliptic, and parabolic. These are the three things we use to classify second order partial differential equations. So please take note of them. They can be classified as being hyperbolic, elliptic, and parabolic. Very, very important. Please take note of them. Now, how, what, what do we use to classify them? What do we use to classify them? We use, if you remember, this is the general form a quadratic equation takes. A general form that a quadratic equation takes. So when we make S the subject, we will get S to be minus B plus or minus the square root of B square minus 4 is square root over 2. Please, we are not going to use this, all of them. We will just use B square minus 4 AC. We call this the discriminant, the discriminant. If you remember the video well, it's called a discriminant. So we use the discriminant in classifying second order partial differential equations. Now one more thing, when we want to classify partial differential equations, we will not consider any other form of the partial differential equation. We will just consider the second ordered partial uh, derivatives. Very, very necessary. So. Remember the general form, we just consider this, the partial differential of u with respect to x twice, plus with the coefficient being a, then the partial differential of u with respect to x, then with respect to y, with the coefficient b, b, then plus the partial differential of u with respect to uh, y twice, with the coefficient being c. That's what we use in classifying them. So when we, class, when, when we compare, the coefficient of the partial differential of u with respect to x twice is a. 
That A is the A here. Then the partial differential of U with respect to X, then with respect to Y. Or it can be the partial differential of U with respect to Y, then with respect to X. This, I already explained that. Using the Young's theory, they are the same. Now, the coefficient is B. That B is the B here. Then the partial differential of U with respect to Y twice, with a coefficient of C. That C is the C B. Now, how will you identify whether it's hyperbolic, elliptic, or parabolic? Now, when we, when we substitute the coefficients, and we have b squared minus 4ac, and it is greater than 0, then the, partial, the second order partial differential equation will be described or will be classified as being hyperbolic. As being hyperbolic. Now, the second thing. When we get this when the b squared minus 4ac okay is equal to zero, then we consider that as parabolic. Then if our b squared minus 4ac is less than zero, then it's elliptic. It's elliptic. Very, very necessary. So please let's take note of them. The next thing is that. We we'll take a sample equation, then we'll see how we classify say, some second order partial differential equation as being parabolic, hyperbolic, or elliptic. So we will take some partial differential equations and see how we can classify them as being hyperbolic, elliptic, or parabolic. Please, before we do that, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell so that if I post a video, you'll be the first to receive it. Now the first, the first is that they say for the partial differential of with respect to x twice minus 4, the partial differential of u with respect to x then with respect to y plus 9, the partial differential of u with respect to y twice plus the partial differential of u with respect to y equal to 0. Now before you solve it, you compare them to the general form. You compare them to the general form. So let's solve the first one. You know, I told you that any time you want to solve it, Compare with the general form. So this is the general form that they pick. However, in solving them, we will not consider uh, the first order partial derivatives. So we will consider only the second order partial derivatives. And these are the second order partial derivatives that are in the general form, if you remember. Now, so we compare with this. The coefficient of this here is the a. So we can say our a is 4. And our b is negative 12 and our uh, c is 9 if you compare so what we use we use the discriminant b squared minus 4 is so what's our b our b is negative 12 so negative 12 all square minus 4 our a is 4 then our c is 9 is 9 now 12 square is 144 minus 4 times 4 is 16 16 times 9 is 144 as well so 144 minus 144 is 0 is 0 so we can say that our b squared minus 4 is is equal to 0 so when it is equal to 0 remember then this partial differential equation is parabolic parabolic i hope you get that i hope you get that we'll solve the second one yeah, we solve it. The second one. You can pause the video and try and compare your answers with mine. So now compare our answers with mine. So our a here will be 4. That's the coefficient of the partial differential of u with respect to x twice. Our b is 6. Then our c is 9. So what we use? We use the discriminant b squared minus 4ac. So our b is 6. So 6 squared minus 4, our a is 4, and our c is 9. c squared, 36. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 9 is 144. So 36 minus 144 will be negative 108. And negative 108 is less than 0. So we can say that our b squared minus 4ac is less than 0. Then, this Second order partial differential equation will be elliptic. 
I hope you get that. And I know you, your answers are correct. Compare, comparing it with mine. We we'll solve the third one. We we'll solve the third. One. So the third one, the third one. Look at the third one. It's not yet in the form in, in, of the general form of the uh, partial second order partial differential equation. So we need to rewrite it like that and equate everything to zero as the general form. So we can bring this one. So we have partial differential of u with respect to x plus 4 partial differential of u with respect to y twice then minus 4 partial differential of u with respect to x then with respect to y we can rearrange it to look like this we'll bring this first however we don't have this so this will follow so we have negative 4 partial differential of u with respect to x so this is equal to 0 after we bring it now this so plus for partial differential of u with respect to y twice then plus our partial differential of u with respect to s equal to zero now we can compare now so remember i told you that if one of them is missing it means that the coefficient so the coefficient there is zero is zero so we can say that our a is zero since it is missing the coefficient is zero now what is our b our b will be equal to negative 4 then our c is also 4 here yeah. now what do we use we use the discriminant remember that b square minus 4 is c so what's our b our b is negative 4 all square minus 4 what's our a is 0 and our c is 4 now 4 square is 16 4 minus uh, 4 times 0 is 0 so the whole of this will be 0 so minus 0 so this will be 16. 16 is greater than 0. So we can say our b square minus 4ac is actually greater than 0. Then this partial differential equation, second order partial differential equation, will be hyperbolic. I hope you, I hope you got the same answer as mine. I believe in you. I know you will get it. The next one is this the fourth one the fourth you can pause the video and try to solve it and compare your answers with mine so we compare this to the general form if you compare you realize that our a here you know this is the same as this i explained that already so our a is nine is nine please it's number the number four so a is nine what's our b you see that the partial differential of u with respect to s then with respect to y is missing. Since it is missing, it means that the coefficient, its coefficient is zero. So our b is equal to zero. So we compare this is c, so c is equal to five. Now what we use? We use the discriminant b square minus four is what's our b zero square minus four? What's our a nine? And our b is 5 our c is 5 0 square is 0 4 times 9 times 5 that will be 180 so 0 minus 180 will be negative 180 and negative 180 is actually less than 0 so we can say that our b square minus 4ac is less than 0 so this second order partial differential equation is electric it's electric I hope you get that. I hope, I hope you get it correct too. Now the last one is this. The number 5. You can pause the video again. Try solving and compare your answers with mine. So the last one. Compare your answers with mine. So we compare. The coefficient here is 1. So A is 1. The coefficient here. Compare. is minus 1. So our B is equal to minus 1. And our C. Please note this. We consider only the second order partial derivative. So compare this. So our C is also 1. Don't make a mistake picking this. Because this is only first order. Or if the order is 1. So we use our discriminant. B square minus 4AC. What's our B square? Our B. Our B is negative 1. All square. Minus 4. What's our A1? Our C is also 1. 1 square is 1. 4 times 1 times 1 is 4. 1 minus 4 is negative 3. Negative 3, remember, is less than 0. 
So we can say our b squared minus 4ac is less than zero. So this partial, second order partial differential equation is elliptic. Is elliptic. I hope you get all these things. And I know you understand very well too. Now remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell so that if I post a video, you'll be the first to receive it. Until we meet again. Bye-bye.